Okay, first up, kicking off the short dance at Skate Canada, representing Canada, Caroline Saucis and Shane Ferris. She's 22, he is 23. They train in Montreal. Skating in their first Grand Prix. At home, it's so exciting. Yo te miro y se me corta la respiración. All the short dances this season will be skated to Latin dance rhythms. And here they're starting off with a rumba. And right into their first element, which is their rumba pattern dance element. All the teams will do these exact steps. The technical panel will be watching their edges to make sure that they are on the correct edge, at the correct beat, and without any snow flying or jumping. And now into their twizzle sequence. Nice unison, a little slow on the second twizzle for their rotation. I'd like to see a bit more ice coverage too. Sequences. This would be the pattern dance type step sequence where they have to maintain a hold the whole time. They can't go to extended hand-to-hand -hand position and they must execute a certain number of difficult clean turns that the technical panel will be identifying for their level and for their points. Very nice stationary rotational lift. step sequence, midline. You can see they're really focusing on executing their turns cleanly so they get all their points. And maybe leaving a little bit of performance on the table. a fourth place finish at Finlandia Trophy earlier. And that was their best showing, really, as an ice dance team. They had personal bests across the board. A great start to their season. Amazing start for their Grand Prix debut. You can see they're a young team. They lack a little bit of the, the performance, the, the energy at the end of the, the, the number needs to really build. Uh, but very clean. I didn't see any major errors. So it's a, it's a great skate for them. Sure, they'll be very relieved, especially being in Canada. As I mentioned, they train in Montreal, and boy, they train with the best. And how does that impact you as you're trying to come up in the ranks? Certainly, training with the best in the world is the best way to train. Uh, it just, you can't help but improve by being around those type of teams and the caliber of skating that they're constantly being surrounded Virtue and by. Moyer there, Virtue Papadakis and, and Cicerone. World champions, world champions, Olympic <laughs> champions. Um, they just naturally will see, you know, monkey see, monkey do. They will see them skate and they will try to emulate them and uh, it, it always improves your skating. So they're in the right place, they're, they're working hard and they have a bright future ahead of them. Marie France Dubray. A wonderful champion in her own right with 
with Patrice Lazon, and I think we'll be seeing them a lot today. So here's their really twizzle active. sequence. First was pretty good, second one a little slow rotation, and then third one barely covering the ice. That could be an, enough of a slowdown that they wouldn't count that third one, which would probably, re which would reduce the level by one. That was the case. Twizzles must continue traveling across the ice as they rotate. Here's their stationary lift. He's got to be down 90 degrees. Ooh, I don't think he's low enough, so I don't think he'll get his position for that. Yeah, this, yeah, I like it. Kind of like reset. Again, they had personal best at Finlandia Trophy. Scored a 60.50 in the short dance, so we'll see what direction they're headed in. Those early competitions are so important to get the cobwebs dusted off, to figure out what works, what doesn't work, get the reaction from the judges and the technical panels, get a little bit more experience competing. The scores, please. The short dance score, Lena a couple of points lower than what they scored earlier this season, but 57.77. Close. To Good what enough they to did. put them into first. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, to go. <laughs> yeah, definitely that, that's reflecting that I think that lift. I don't think he was low enough in his sitting position and potentially a, an error there on the last twizzle.